Welcome, dear friends, to another installment of Elements of Faith. I'm Deacon Tom, and I'm happy to be with you again today. We continue today on the topic of prayer. And as I spoke in the previous session, you are prayer. And I also mentioned in that session that people come to me about being dry in prayer. And sometimes this just being present isn't always easy for you, and you feel the need to put words to it. There's a formula for those kind of dry periods, and I call it acts. Not as in acts and laying a, a blade to a tree, but as in acts, the book of the Bible, A-C-T-S. And we can look to the Our Father as being somewhat of a formula of this, this acts. We can see Jesus' loving relationship with his Father in that prayer. And that is what we are called to emulate in our acts. And Acts stands for four words. Adoration. Confession. Thanksgiving. And supplication. With adoration, our prayer starts with giving glory to the Father. The Father that has given us life. The Father that has made us the prayer that we are. Giving thanks to giving glory to him for the life that he's given us the love that he's created us from and that we are we follow that then with confession with offering those things that we need help with or we've done wrongly or we just simply aren't doing and asking god's loving grace and mercy on those moments we follow that up with the tea thanksgiving and giving thanks for all that God has blessed us with, with this moment that we are in in prayer. Thanks be to God for that. And thanks be to God for all the blessings that we have. For gratitude is the first step to holiness. And then the prayer ends with S, supplication. What is it that I need in my life? What is it that my world needs, my family needs? What is it where I need God's grace the most? A C T S X. Sometimes it's just tough being a prayer or being in prayer. And maybe we need to put some acts with it. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that you are a human being. And that's what prayer is about being. So use your acts in being, not your acts in doing and draw on that relationship that you share with Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. God bless your acts. Have a beautiful day. Peace and blessings.